This course is to learn how to install and use reprint. Open the C drive, open the DTF folder, and open the second folder, which contains the installation package for the reprint program, double-click to install the reprint program. In the installation of reprint software program, all prompts are clicked to accept, next step, I agree, install, and complete. The desktop displays an icon for reprint, indicating that the software has been installed. Now let's talk about Curve installation. Right-click on Copy. Right-click on the icon of reprint and click on the location of the file. Right-click on the blank space, click Paste, copy the Curve to the software file directory, and overwrite it. The curve parameters and installation are complete. Now let's open the reprint software and set it up. Click display, language can be selected according to user needs, with Chinese and English options available. Software units can also be selected based on user needs. Here is the canvas settings. Fill in the values based on your model. The machine I am demonstrating here is an A3 machine, so fill in 30 centimeters. Here is the printer settings, please choose based on the printer model. The machine demonstrated here is XP600, so XP600 is set as the default printing curve parameter. Please pay attention and observe here. The demonstration version is displayed here. We need to insert a blue reprint encryption dog, which is a unique key to open the software. As long as we use the sharp print software, we must maintain a continuous connection, otherwise the software will not function properly, and the printed images will also have watermarks and the other issues. After inserting the reprint encryption dog, if the software displays UV, it indicates success. If the demonstration version is still displayed, the software needs to be reopened. Click, Spot Color Settings. First, check for these three dialog boxes. Choose a spot color. There are 10 modes here, representing different ways of forming ink dots and ink amounts. Generally, we can choose smooth mode. Spot color channel 1 represents white ink, which can be filled in according to user needs. Negative numbers represent inward scaling, and positive numbers represent outward scaling. We usually choose minus 0.1. Also choose spot colors. Spot color channel 2 represents varnish, which can be filled in according to user needs. Negative numbers represent inward shrinkage, and positive numbers represent outward expansion. We usually choose 0.2. Here is also the choice smooth mode. After setting up, be sure to click on the application. Now let me demonstrate how to create spot colors for images in Adobe Photoshop. Today we produce an issue of PS to do spot color tutorial. You open your PS software. Or click on the top left corner of the file. Then open the image we need to print. Then click on the layer option. The mouse needs to be placed in the area I marked and cannot be placed in the layer E position. You click the right mouse button and select pixel. After successful pixel selection, an outline will appear in the image area. Barry select channel options. Left click on the C bars icon and click on the new spot color channel option. To fill in the spot color parameters in accordance with this parameter color is not required to click OK. Shimin or still an option click the right button to copy the channel. Click OK. Let the eye of the marker point on. Shi click on the file option. It is then stored as 12 select TIFF format ICC select off.
then click Save. Check the parameters according to the picture and click OK. The entire spot color has been produced. Thanks for watching. Now it's time to use Reprint software to convert RIP images in a P or in format. Click on Import to import the prepared spot color image into Reprint. Modify the size of the image according to printing requirements, and the width should not exceed 30 centimeters. Click Print. Select the number of passes according to the printing requirements. The higher the pass, the better the effect, and the slower the speed. The lower the pass, the lower the effect and the faster the speed. After selecting, click on Print. Choose the location for the P or in file to be placed on the desktop for easy demonstration to everyone. The file name can also be filled in arbitrarily. A progress bar will be displayed here. When the progress is completed, the P or in file will be generated. The printable file format is PERN. You can see a P or in format file name 222 on the desktop, indicating that the operation has been successful. This concludes this lesson. In the next lesson, we will import the P or in file into the control software for printing. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for the next lesson.